right, seventh grade, lesson 28. This is two-step word problems. Um, so sometimes when you're doing word problems, it's going to require more than just one step. And so far, you've just learned one step, word problems. But today, we're going to learn another one. So, for example, Julie went to the store with $20. Okay, that's all the information they've told us so far. She bought eight cans of dog food. dog food and they were 67 cents a piece each okay 67 cents each all right and then it says if she bought eight cans of dog food for 67 cents per can how much money did she have left okay now this is important but not yet because she's not going to use that money to buy it yes so we have to figure out how much money she spent so, here's the whole problem. Listen to it again. Julie went to the store with $20. If she bought eight cans of dog food for $0.67 cents per can, how much money did she have left? So, we're going to take eight cans of dog food, and they were $0.67 cents each. So, we're going to take $0.67 cents and times it by eight, because we bought eight cans of this. Okay? So, when I do that, eight times seven, fifty-six. 8 times 6, 40, uh, 8 times 6, 48, um, plus 5, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 5, and then 8 times 0 is 0, plus a 5 is 5. So, bring down, let's see, 1, 2, 1, 2, bring it over. Okay, so she spent $5.36. Now, if she had $20 and she spent... I mean, take away from the 20, $5.36, remember to line up your decimals, then how much money does she have left? That's the final question. So we had to figure out this first before we can get to the answer. So let's do the math for this, okay? And if we were to do, I'm, I'm not going to do all the math right now, but I'm just going to figure it out. So it's going to end up being $14.64. So she spent $5.36 from her 20 and got $14.64 that she has left, okay? Now, we're gonna go, we're gonna kinda switch gears and move to averaging, okay? So, the best way to explain this would be, let's say we had five people over for breakfast and I started putting pancakes on people's plates. Um, the best way I can show you, I'm just gonna stack the pancakes. Okay? Okay, clearly this is not fair. Um, let's just name them A, B, C, D, and E. That just makes it easier, okay? So we had A, B, C, D, and E, their names, whatever. And that's how I stacked their pancakes. This person had one. This person had five, this one had three, this one had four, and this one had two. Obviously, it's not fair. So we need to bring all the pancakes together and then disperse them between the five people. So how much is all the pancakes together? Well, hopefully, we're going to add them all up. So one plus five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 pancakes, all right? And if I take those 15 pancakes... and divide them evenly between five people, that would be 15 divided by five people, and that gives me three. So everybody gets three pancakes. That is how you average, okay? Three plus three plus three plus three plus three equals 15, okay? So that's just kind of an overview of average, but let's do some of the problems. So listen to this. Um, when people were seated, there were three in the first row. There were seven in the second row. And then there were 20 in the third row. Okay. Obviously, if we were going to try to even these out and get the same amount of people in each row, we need to figure out how many people there are first. So let's do that. Seven plus three is ten plus one more makes um, three. So there are 30 people or 30 children 
in, um, in this um, auditorium. So if there's 30 people, and how many rows do I have? One, two, three. So I'm going to take these 30 people and disperse them in between three different rows. So 30 divided by 3 is 10. So I need to put 10 here, 10 here, and 10 here. See how we would do that? All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, let's do something a little bit harder when we have bigger numbers. For example, Robert took 20 math tests. <clears throat> I'm just going to write down key information. 20 math tests. Okay? On five tests, he scored a 100. So five tests, he scored a 100. Sorry about the train. Okay? So five tests, he scored a 100, 100. Four tests, he scored a 95. Six tests, I need to put tests. Yeah. Six tests, he scored 90. And then on five tests, <clears throat> he scored an 80. Okay? What is the average or the mean? Sometimes they'll use the word mean. It doesn't mean like I'm mean. But mean in math means to find the average. Mean means <laughs> to find the average. Okay. This may look a little hard, but I want to show you what we're doing. Okay, so leave this up here for just a minute, and I want you to see. <clears throat> so this would be like 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. Okay, those are five tests, then four tests, 95, 95, 95, 95. Then six tests, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. And then five tests and 80. 80, 80, 80, 80, and 80. Now, I want you to see what we're doing here. Is that 20 tests? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Yes, it is. Okay. So, if this was pancakes, we would add up all our pancakes and divide it into 20 people. Okay. So this would be a lot of pancakes for 20 people to eat, but I'm not, which is, this is test scores, okay? But it's still the same method. So I want you to see is we would find the sum of all the scores, the sum meaning add them all, get the answer. Find the sum of all the scores, and then you're going to divide it by 20 to see what each test about approximately was, which is average, okay? So, instead of me adding 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 95, 95, 95, 90, 90, 90, 90 80, 80, 80, 80, what I'm going to do is 100 five times is 500. See that? 100, five tests, 500. 95, four tests. So, I'm just going to take 95 times 4. And that's 4, 36, 37, 38. That's 380. Okay? Six tests of 90, so that's 96 times. See what I'm doing? That's 540. And five tests at 80 is 400. So, this is a lot easier for us to add 500 plus 380 plus 540 plus 400. Still is going to give us the same answer. So let's go on and figure that out. <clears throat> zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Zero. 8 plus 4, 12 plus 0, still 12, add my 1, 5 plus 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, 20 is the total sum of all your scores. And so this is actually true. This is how um, a teacher finds out your grade for your report card. She takes all your scores, adds them up. Gets that and figures out how many tests um, did you take, and you took 20 of them. So we're going to take the total, 1820, and divide it by 20. So total, which is 1820, and we're going to divide it by 20 to see what it was per test. Okay, this would almost look like this <laughs> with 20 slots, and this was 180, uh, or 100. I'm sorry, 1,820. And we would divide that out 20 times. See what we're doing? Okay. 
to figure out what the main score is, um, average score is. So let's go on and do this. 20 will not go into 18, so let's go 182. Um, let's try 8. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 2 is 16. I think that's about as far. I think I might be able to. Let's try 9. 9 times 0 is 0. 9 times 2 is 18. Yay! Okay, so that's closer without going over. <laughs> so... Um, I subtract 2, bring down my 0, 20 goes into 20 one time, and that averages it out. So my average score is a 91. So after all those tests, you know, um, me making tons of hundreds, 95s, 80s, and 90s, my average score is a 91, and that's what would go in your report card. So you see how you do that? Pretty cool. All right, now, <laughs> that's the end of the lesson, but... Um, on the practice set, which you're not going to be doing today, or um, but you might be, uh, but uh, E asks a question that I think you need to know that might be mentioned on tests, okay? Here's what it says. What is the average of 40 and 70? What is the average of that? <clears throat> and then it says, what number is halfway between 40 and 70? So this one asks what was the average and this one asks which one was halfway between. It's basically asking the exact same question. And in order to discover what number is in between that, the easiest way to do it is just add them together, 40 plus 70, and then you get 110, and then divide it by 2. And that gives us 55. Now, you could have written all the numbers and tried to discover which one was halfway, or you could just take the sum of something and divide it by 2, and that gives you halfway. So the answer for both of these <coughs> is 55. Okay? That's just a quick little nugget. Lesson 28.